Hey, 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 what's good, YouTube? Man, it's your boy Blaze. I'm checking back in here. Um, dropping this vlog, man. Don't have a lot of motion going on right now. But I did get a call from the mechanic, my boy Jamie. He told me that um, I need to come pick up some parts so I can send out to the machine shop and start getting everything balanced. I did talk to the powder coater today. And um, he said he just ordered the pink to finish doing um, my brake calibers and my low, lower control arms, they will, my upper control arms will be black. Since then, I've got in the hub bearings as y'all see later in this video or sometime during the video. And I did get the lower control arms as well. And I'll make sure that I um, drop that in here in this video as well. And I just found that uh, the bolts that I bought wasn't the right ones to uh, connect the hub assembly and everything. But uh, my lady, she allowed me to borrow her car. I am in Camille, her 2023 TRD. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one over there to the uh, mechanics, pick up these parts. And yeah, man, y'all just stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I got the bearings in, wheel hub assembly. I went with the Detroit axle. Uh, and I just want to see if it's gonna fit my spindle now. So, and then I got some bolts for it. So I'm gonna just put that on there real quick. Flip it over, see if I can thread it in there. I can get that thread in there. I got these bolts right here. So I'm gonna see what, what I get with it real quick. And I'm gonna see if I can slot those rotors on there and that disc. Uh, this, um, what this be? Brake uh, dust cover. I think that's what it is. Now I got the rotors. These are the ones that Penny, uh, I bought from Penny. So I'm gonna see if I can put all of it together. Let me see real quick. Man, I see you got the motor all painted up on this one. Almost got the rear end, yeah, done. Oh, you took the rear end out too? Yeah, I put uh, three, uh, 373 gears in it. Oh, I still got drums on the back. Yeah. You put new axles in it? Nope. I'm just gonna run it like it is. Got it got Posi track? Yeah, it's got Posi track in it. So he, well, he got like a chunk in it, got a, a got a, uh, what does that be? It's a 30, like 308 gears, real weak. Okay. Since we're putting that bigger motor in, like there's no sense in having small gears. Mm hmm Cause you know, you can put the power to the ground, you know? So, but got the motor and transmission ready to made up. Man, I like that carburetor. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Man, you painted it? No, I know it comes that way. Like oh, I was gonna say, did you get the, um, get that paint? I need to get this paint though. Try to match this one best I could. Okay. Yeah. So I'm saying, did you get that paint, that, that Tiffany, that Tiffany teal? Uh, it's it's called a uh, Torque and Teal. Where'd that come off of? Uh, I don't know, Summit. Oh, you got that Summit? Yeah, Summit, yeah. Summit was only had this, can, this cans of... Uh, yeah, I see that right there. Color, yeah. Boy, I went to Summit, so, got him some exclusive. Because <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what color I want to do mine. And then uh, Taylor's, they can't mix uh, high-tech paint. 
Okay. They can only mix like regular red can paint. You can get you can get any color mixed for like forty bucks at Taylor's, but they don't do high town. And mm -hmm. if I put regular car paint on that, it'll bubble like, up. Well, it'll change color or something. Like that. Uh, but this looks good. So. Fresh seals. I can see that new seal on there. Yeah. Thermostat housing. Three fifty. Three fifty. Got a five thirty lift cam in it. Aluminum heads. What kind of? Uh, what was that again? Got a five thirty lift cam in there. A Howard's. Okay, so it's bad. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be pretty cool. Cause I'm looking at this at old school. I like that. Yeah, it's that for that. Well, that yeah, customer wanted these. That way, it kind of matches the vehicle. Yeah, right, like right. vintage. Yeah. Clear distributor cap so they can see. The spark. I've never seen one in real life, so I'm just curious to see what it looks like. My partner had one yeah. many years ago, and yeah. you can see everything. You see the sparks cool. flying through yeah. and stuff, like a science experiment. Yeah. Now, yeah. what's the deal with this carburetor, though? Uh, I, I rebuilt it for him. It was just all. It, How well, many CFMs is that? So I think it's 650. I just got that in there, so it doesn't get anything. Nothing can drop down there. So it's a nice size uh, carburetor, yeah. not too big. It was. Yeah, it was pretty bad before this. It was, Leaking and running real bad and all kinds of stuff. So, Been putting this crane to work, I see. Dude, this thing's is working I out for the you. Motor and the transmission by myself with this right here. Yeah. And I'm able to like uh you know roll that so it'll tilt your engine and stuff. Bro, man, dude, it's working. It's super simple. That's good. I was just like because <laughs> uh, you can't afford no more injuries. No, I got a remote control for it, so I got yeah, Man, you even cool. paint the alternator over there. Yeah, so Black and then the pulley's gonna be that color. Oh man, you ain't, well, you ain't it, taking no shortcuts on this well, one. Well, they had it painted like this though, so that looks good. Blood, let you know what kind of quality and what condition it looked like. This was what it looked like. Like these are old pulleys, so uh, the whole engine was in a like lime green, re weird, rough condition. You know, almost so. like a patina green color. Yeah, but this thing looking good, man. Yeah, the time and chain was super stretched. Like all the the old covers and stuff were like. I like these hoses right here. You can see where the old cover was rusting so much, like it was like rusting out. I was like, I can't put that back on a customer's car. Like, what are you? Doing? Yeah, so, you liable to have some leaks missing yeah, with that, huh? Got new pans, new covers, new stuff. And... Man, Jamie, I'm trying to get you to me. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the finish line. They're like they there. Yeah, well, I'm getting ready to mount it to the transmission or made it. Those heads even look good. Yeah, with Flow Tech One A's. They got, they're pretty good uh, reviews as far as like middle of the pack. Not super cheap, not super expensive though. Mm -hmm. Well, 202 valves, uh, 64 chambers. So it should be about 10, 10 and a half to one impression. Well, 10 and one? Yeah. Man, that VIT, man. What year that is? 92. 92 VIT. I know I got to check it out. That's his transmission right here too? Yeah, that's a turbo 350 for this car. Boy, you got hella bolts with this thing. Yeah, well, about a bolt can't make it look pretty. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So you get these nice ARP bolts. And they harden and everything. Clean. Yeah. How much this kit cost? You mind? Uh, a hundred bucks, something like that, a little more. I need to get one. It makes it if you want. It'll be nice. Yeah. If you want your stuff to look nice, you gotta spend more money. I mean, you, yeah. you make your car go fast. Yes. It won't look very good. Like dirt trackers, right? Those guys can haul ass, but like, they don't make it look pretty. But that's not their goal. Yes. But if you want to make it look nice, you gotta spend a lot more money. So, just cause. Man, what would you say this this motor gonna put out as far as horsepower? I'd probably say three fifty to four hundred. Okay. Somewhere there. Yeah, he got some money tied up into it. I can definitely well, tell. I mean, like, he got some quality you, parts. We had to take the machine shop and get the crankshaft turned, and then it was already bored, so they just honed it, cleaned it. You know, like it was already in good shape. And it's a four bolt main, so it's already a pretty good platform. So yes. like, yeah. And I got Both the two bolt pistons in it because they had like big old dish pistons in there. It was crazy. Took the heads off, and I was like. You're not making power. And I told him, I was like, you know, you can't put a big cam in there with dish pistons, and because then you're going to be running like eight and a half to one compression. That's not no, no real power. Any of this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Low compression on. I mean, maybe you're going to boost it or something, but they're just going to naturally aspirate it. So, yes. So, you want the higher compression because yeah. it's naturally aspirated. Yeah, so, what kind of transmission you running behind it? Okay. But I did talk them into a 700R. I do a 700R4. Cause you need the overdrive. Well, you don't need it, but it's nice to have. You know what I mean? They don't cruise a ton on the highway because they really just go like, uh, they said they just want a red light to red light car. I mean, okay. that's pretty much what it is. It's not, the suspension's not really. I would think they would at least want to put it on the highway and take it to yeah. some local shows. That's what they're doing. This in the DFW. Yeah. 
And, she, the, and she honestly doesn't care though. She's like, I'm fine with the way it rides and all that. It's a whole hour just to cover the metro yeah. place to go to the track and uh, extreme. I would drive this thing all over. Like, I, would. <laughs> I think it's cool. This is it right here though. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, and this guy's got a Lincoln flipper engine in it. Man, this joker got the old school phone in that thing, man. Yeah, hey, you know what's funny is there's a kid that came in here that's like 20 years old and he works down here and he works in here part time. He thought that was a breathalyzer. He goes, what's all these cars you have in here have breathalyzers? I was like, what are you talking about, man? He goes, man. I, had a, I, have a, I had an old Mustang, that 91 Mustang, that blue one. Okay. He had a breathalyzer on that. But he go, I, I was like, what are you talking about? He goes, yeah, that thing right there. I was like, brother, that's an old school phone. He man, like, hey. He goes, that's that. That look like. That's he that hit a player up. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a phone. That's a like holler at a player, man. Damn, I ain't seen one. This is like the bag phone, man. But that was that was some high tech <laughs> shit back then. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, you was the phone, guy. Man. He the original owner too? Uh no, no, no. He got okay. the car given to him. Uh, I don't know the really backstory, but. Hey, whoever originally bought this, they were doing big things like '92. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you see the motor they got here? LT1. Well, Lincoln filter. Oh man, dude, it's a pretty oh, high end. Uh, they make pretty beast motors, so. Mm-hmm. Allegedly, it's a start no start issue. So after some diagnostics, uh, I'm pretty sure the ECM's bad. Oh. Uh, but where do you get an ECM for LT1? You know, this in all, 2024. Yeah. Because everybody say LS. Yeah. You ain't talking about LS, man. People act like they don't know what you're talking about no more. You like, well, do yeah. you know that Chevy made it's motors better. before the L LS one? Well, this one has that Optia Spark too. So like, Hate the it. Strip, yeah, they're not any good. And so what I don't understand is a little bit of water drip well, on it is over. Yeah, and how did they put this much money into the motor and stuff, but then they didn't update the spark system? Like, there's mm -hmm. a whole other computer system you can run and upgrade it, but it's like, how would you keep that old crap technology? So. I don't know if it's a whole Lincoln filter engine or just a top end kit. So I don't know. Oh. Yeah. And That's like I'm Hennessy. Like, Lincoln yeah. filter and Hennessy, whenever I yeah. see them. Yeah, they're old school names. So, mm -hmm. like, my, my buddy, we just think that this, it's a top end kit, like cam and heads, because why would you do away with that Optius part? Mm hmm. If you're going to spend that much money. Mm -hmm. So, I, and he don't want to put that kind of money into it now. This thing's some money, so though. So he's like, well, kill this me. straight collector's item. Yeah. Damn, you say he just got it, though. Somebody well, gave it to him. him. He's gonna sell it. Okay. Yeah. This person, he, everything. This guy lives up on the hill. Last hang on the left. Okay. And everything. He he wants to sell it. He's like, if in worst case scenarios, we'll just take the motor out and he'll just get rid of the car. Mm, damn. He don't want the car. So. Man. It's all beat up. I'm talking about the door's been beat. Whole passenger side of this vehicle just been brutal with hell. My boy said he got caught in a tornado, man. Damn. That shit crazy, but I'm looking at it. Being that these fiberglass hips. That might be the only thing that could be saved. Them they need to reskin the bedside because it's gonna be requiring way too much bondo. Man, damn. That's crazy.